where I have uh, Fight the Fight with me. For beginning guys, could you tell us a little about yourselves? What and who is band called Fight the Fight? We are Fight the Fight from uh, Norway and um, we are a fresh, new, young, sexy band <laughs> that you cannot miss. We're gonna be everywhere soon. Uh, uh, we're actually um, a lot of mates from uh, from Oslo, and uh, we used to we used to play together when we were children, and we just grew up together. Uh, but also, the fact that we have fight to fight is because we really, really, really like the metal style that we do. But you have you have never heard anything like it before. You have something to pitch in? Uh, nothing yet. <laughs> you are the bass player. I'm the best player, Magnus, or H, the H motherfucking M, yeah. the pussy destroyer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, like you said, you have been playing together for a long time. Uh, as I understand, in the beginning, uh, under the name uh, Fence Cup, uh, would That's you mind cool. to elaborate a bit about the band's journey so far? Uh, we were formerly known as uh, Oslo Fanskap and uh, then uh, all of just Fanskap. Um, we started as a group uh, when I was 12. Uh, the yeah. bass player was 13 and yeah. uh, we played together uh, since then. But uh, we've been a band, uh, people have come out and gone and we have been a group for several years now so we uh, decided when we started like when we felt like okay now this is it uh, we found ourselves this is who we are now it's time to really take it to the next level and be a band and that's when we decided to change the name because yeah we felt like the, this is who we are now. Uh, we're a very different band, to be honest. Um, yeah, as he said, we uh, we started out when we were small, but uh, the latest member is uh, our new drummer uh, Bjorn. Who is, we um, don't have a stage name for him yet, so uh, you guys can all uh, yeah. try figure <laughs> something out uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's for get this some guy. Good suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the thing is, like, um, as the band is now and the music we play now is only two years old, which is why we also changed the name, because it's not the same people and it's not the same uh, music anymore. Uh, it's a new band, yeah, basically. Basically, basically. Band. yeah. Uh, people are always trying to categorize bands, uh, but how would you describe your music yourselves? Let's pass this shit around here so somebody else can talk. We always get these questions and like people in a metal genre are always like trying to put bands in this booth and this booth and this booth. But we, when somebody asks me, I just say, we play metal. That, that's what I think we do. Or you want to say metalcore death? Uh, no, that's the thing. Uh, people, like many people says, yeah, online you've been reviewed as metalcore and I've, I've, if, I mean, I'm very inspired by metalcore, but if you look at, if you lis listen to like a proper metalcore band, like for example Parkway Drive, you will hear that we are totally different from those bands. And um, when we write music, uh, together we don't think about what genre, what we genre we're gonna play uh, we just everybody is inspired by different things and we just play together jam together and then this kind of riffs came in here and this kind of riffs came in here and okay okay so you can't really put this us in a genre I think it's like if you listen to songs from my emperor and then you listen to this is war you will hear that they are uh, pretty broad. Yeah, They're pretty yeah. broad. Yeah. Um, so we genre, cool music, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you have been touring with Satyricon and Suicidal Angels. How has the tour been with you guys? <laughs> Fucking awesome. <laughs> For sure. Absolutely. You know, uh, when you're the first band on stage, there's always a uh, difference 
like some nights people come out totally ready for a show sometimes you gotta really get them going but i think we've been doing that job pretty pretty well yeah 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 i mean uh, when you have like of course we're supporting a black metal band and uh, of course there are some very dedicated black metal black uh, metal fans in the crowd and they're uh, most of the time in first row since the doors open and they normally have corpse paint and they are <laughs> truly dedicated fans to black metal and uh, when we as like a <laughs> Uh, mixture, of metal. mixture of metal, like cool music uh, band uh, coming out on stage um, and make these people head bang like they never banged their head that hard before. I think that shows. It shows yeah. what we like to do and it shows our dedication to our craft because uh, we usually, about 90% of the time, we win over the audience by showing how much energy and how hard you really can go on stage. And uh, that is something we're really proud of. Uh, our live show is really, really good and we're proud of that. But we also think that it doesn't really matter if it's 10 people or 90. It doesn't really matter. You, you should give the same show anyway. Yeah, there's a lot of passion in there. So, how important are live performances for you guys? <laughs> That's the yeah. most important thing. Yeah. It's yeah. like, yeah, it's the best thing you can do as a band. You make a band to play live yeah. in front of people. So that's the best thing, uh, the most inspire f thing, <laughs> and uh, the. It's the payoff for all the hours you put down in the rehearsal space. Yeah, yeah it really is. Hell, we don't is to do this. We don't make money. We are uh, poor motherfuckers drinking cheap ass beer, but we do this to play for you guys. Yeah. Every <laughs> night. <laughs> okay, uh, you released your debut album earlier this year. How would you describe that album in your own words? Fucking Schizo awesome. Schizophrenic. I would yeah. definitely call it schizophrenic because uh, there's two sides of the same coin. It's like the nice ones where you feel like everything's good and happy and then you have the really dark ones where you believe that uh, I'm gonna die soon. <laughs> so it's really schizophrenic but it's really good listening and uh, I'm pretty proud of it because it <laughs> conveys a certain type of feeling for me. Uh, both the lyrics and the music in itself. So uh, I'm pretty happy with this record and you should fucking listen to it. You're gonna have a good time. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna have a party of your own. Uh, you already talked about the early years of uh, uh, this band and of course the earlier incarnations of the band. So how was it uh, starting a band in a land of uh, black metal, like you said? So. That is actually not true. Not at all. We're uh, born in the ghetto. <laughs> so uh, we actually started a band in the land of uh, hip hop. To be honest. And we started out as a punk metal band. And to start out, I remember I have a really good story actually. Uh, I was in sixth grade. I was in the, uh, the football place in uh, my child school playing football and this uh, kid was coming out with a newspaper uh, with pictures from our first gig that yeah. I talked about later and I got yeah, so yeah. fucking earlier and I got so fucking embarrassed it was like people were like oh you play guitar you're a fucking punk uh, guy and uh, whatever you don't play hip-hop so that was kind of uh, rough. I think it's been rough for every metal band uh, yeah. somehow. But look at us now. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the Norwegian black metal bands come from the countryside and not from the cities. So when you grow up in the city, you don't really see anything to that whole scene that much. Maybe if you go to the concerts, there's a lot of fans around but really when you grow up in the city there's not much of a black metal scene in <coughs> this no, uh, and it's really true the, the funniest thing about it is that 
most of the guys we used to compete with uh, in the me- metal scene in uh, in Grorodalen, which are where we grew up. Uh, really, there was nobody who thought we would make anything out of it ever. But we just kept making headlines. We kept doing big shows. We kept uh, going on bigger concerts, growing and growing and growing. So now a lot of them think it's cool. But it was absolutely not cool when we started doing it. Everybody was like, hey, you should play uh, rap or something. Or football, maybe. Yeah, or football. Especially you. <laughs> That's also Especially comes football. down with the name, Fight the Fight. We're here to fight the fight. Whatever it is we're doing, we just give what we can, all of us. That was also what inspired us to change to that name. Yeah. Don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck. So, how do you see the band's future from now on? There's some new deals in North America. And where do you see yourselves in a couple of years? In a couple of years, we will be touring not only America, but the rest of the world as well. Uh, I really believe that we, uh, we're going to grow a lot the next couple of years. Uh, we're uh, working on a second album already. Uh, and when we get back home, we're just going to finish that up and then go touring as much as we can next year. Uh, not poor. <laughs> <laughs> But Lars summed it up pretty well. That's the plan. Make new album, tour as much as we possibly can. And not be poor. And not be poor. That would be nice. <laughs> And hopefully, like, travel around as a headliner and not as a support band, of course. Eventually. Yeah, that's uh, our most goal is to be touring around as a headliner and uh, and have our own support bands. Uh, yeah, and of course, play b- the absolute bigger venues. A wife, children, big house, no, big no. garden. <laughs> not yet, uh, not yet. Safe job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, I also gotta say this though, uh, as uh, AJM said, we want to be we want to be the next headliners basically. But I really look forward to the day I can do the same thing for uh, for other bands that uh, both Satyricon, Black Dahlia Murder, and uh, August Burns Red have do- and Devin Townsend have done for us. Like, take them on, just show them that this is possible, and you actually, <laughs> the more you really, yeah. the more you work for it, the. F- the sweeter the the actual goal is gonna be and uh, when you get to that state it's worth it man you bleed a lot throughout the years to be able to do this but it's worth it when you can look back at it and you see <coughs> all the things you've actually done yeah. most people are stuck in an office for the most of their lives we we get to tour the world we get to uh, wake up in a new city every day and This uh, alone makes it worth it, to be honest. Okay, thank you so much, guys. I'm break a leg tonight. Thank you. Thank, you thank you very much. Thank, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. We appreciate yeah, it. That was guys. nice. Um. <laughs> 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 